Chapter 28, Biogeochemical Cycling and Ecosystem Productivity. Uh, section 28.1, Essential Nutrients for Life. So um, living organisms require the availability of about 20 to 30 chemical elements for the various metabolic processes that take place in their bodies. Now it varies from one organism to another exactly what these chemical elements are, um, but it's roughly 30, uh, 20 to 30. Um, the, the, we can classify the elements they require as either being macronutri macronutrients or micronutrients. Uh, a macronutrient is uh, an, an element that is required in relatively large amounts. Now, if we look at um, uh, most organisms, uh, the major macronutrients that make up more than 1% of their dry weight include carbon, oxygen, hydrogen, nitrogen, and phosphorus. Uh, there are some macronutrients that are needed in uh, lesser amounts, uh, anywhere from 0.2 to 1% of the organism's dry organic weight. And this includes elements uh, like sulfur, chlorine, potassium, sodium, calcium, magnesium, iron, and copper. Nutrients that are needed by organisms in just trace amounts are called uh, micronutrients. Some common uh, micronutrients that uh, are found in the bodies of living organisms include aluminum, boron, bromine, chromium, cobalt, fluorine, gallium, iodine, manganese, molybdenum, uh, cesium, uh, silicon, uh, uh, strontium, tin, titanium, uh, vanadium, and zinc. Uh, it's interesting to note that, that uh, many of these micronutrients, uh, if they are not, uh, and, and, and some um, uh, macronutrients, if they're uh, not uh, available to the organism and are, uh, the organism is deficient uh, uh, of these, or, uh, these uh, chemicals, that it can cause some um, uh, physiological problems, um, some morphological problems even to, to, to species. Uh, there are also some, some micronutrients that if um, the organism is taking them up in too high a quantity, it can also cause uh, problems. So here we see a photograph on the left of, of someone with goiter, and, and that's because of uh, iodine deficiency. And uh, on the other side, we see a rhododendron with some type of nutrient deficiency that is uh, causing it to uh, not be as photosynthetic as it should be. It's probably a, a manganese uh, deficiency.